The new CCS adapter is here. How much does it cost and should you buy it? Is it worth it? Let's go over all of that in this video. So the CCS charger just came available online this week for $250. Now the most use you're gonna get out of this, if you're somebody that does a lot of road trips and you need to find a charger that's a non-Tesla branded charger, this is gonna come in handy. Expand your fast charging options with the CCS Combo One adapter. The adapter offers charging speeds up to 250 kilowatts. And again, for $250 currently in stock. Now I do want to say that previous models of Teslas will be able to have a retrofit for this CCS charger. Older models of the Model Y or the Model 3, Tesla is going to come out in 2023 with a retrofit, allowing older Teslas to also take advantage of this CCS adapter. So here's where it would work out. Now most of you may use a mobile connector. Now remember that is an extra charge as well. Now this is your normal outlet that you may be able to plug into the wall, a normal outlet. That's only gonna get you around three to five miles an hour. This NEMA outlet is gonna get you more around 35 miles an hour, and that is currently what I have. So you can see here the NEMA 1450 adapter. This again being taken away, no longer coming with your Tesla for $200. But let's get into the CCS adapter. Here's where you're gonna use that. Electrify America mostly has CCS adapters. So let's go ahead and plug in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and this is gonna pop up all of the level two charging stations and commercial charging that I'm gonna be able to use. So Electrify America, this is how you find those CCS chargers. We can go to their website and for an example, I'm gonna plug in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're gonna to have to zoom out here because there aren't many around my city of Pittsburgh. So we can see one right here and you can see three CCS available at a gas station sheets here up in Cranberry, but let's go into this. When you reach a non-Tesla charger like these Electrify America chargers, it's gonna look something like this. So when you get to a non-Tesla charger that requires a CCS, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this CCS adapter and put it over top of your Tesla plug. And that's gonna allow you to get CCS speeds, high charging speeds for $250 at the non-supercharger stations. So how are you gonna use this CCS charger is you're gonna take this part right here and you're gonna plug it into the Electrify America or other charger. And then this side is going to go in your Tesla. This is really important because there's been a big push by the current administration, over a hundred million dollars, a big push on EV chargers being installed on interstates nationwide, but a lot of these are going to be CCS chargers. So if you are a Tesla owner and you take a lot of road trips, I think for $250, it definitely could be worth it if you are someone like that. Now, I have uh, Model 3, the base package, standard range, rear wheel drive, and here's what I would say. If you use your Tesla as a daily driver, if you charge at home, let's say you are close to a supercharger, I would stick with that because remember, if you are about to place your order, you have to spend over $200 uh, for the mobile connector. So that's gonna allow you to get around 35 miles per hour at your home. And then as a backup, you can use superchargers and you can go to tesla.com backslash trips if you do have a road trip coming up and that'll help you plan out which superchargers to go to. So I think if you take infrequent road trips, if you use your Tesla just around town, even on long errands, if you don't do a lot of road trips, I would stick with the mobile connector. But let's say you can't charge at home. If you don't have the ability to plug in with a mobile connector at your house, maybe you're in an apartment or a condo, uh, or you have no options available, this is for you. I would absolutely consider the CCS charger because not only on the interstates, but cities and towns are installing more EV chargers. Again, there's a big push to convert from gas to electric, and sometimes those chargers just around town require this adapter. So again, if you do not have the ability to charge at your house, this might be something to pick up. So I wanna know what you think. Do you charge or intend on charging at your house? Now I have a NEMA 1450. 
outlet. Now there is an installation cost with that as well, but you can get a certified electrician uh, per the Tesla website. You can search for one that's specifically certified to install a home charger, and that way you don't have to worry about the CCS charger. You can just charge at your house. So let me know down in the comment section below, are you intending on buying this? Do you uh, need it? Do you want it? What do you think about this new option? Or are you considering, I'm gonna charge at my house for the most part? So the only way, of course, I know that you like this update is to drop a like and consider subscribing for more reviews and updates to the EV tax credit as we get closer to the end of the year and getting that big $7,500 back on your purchase. There's gonna be a lot of updates as we approach the end of the year. Again, this is Matt from Front to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.